Tecno never fails to impress with their camera flagship smartphones and this year it's no different. The new Tecno Camon 20 Pro looks elegant, futuristic and also delivers some nice photos and videos. It's also the first phone that I've touched that has the Camon deconstructionist design. More on this later. The cost of this phone is 31,000 Kenya shillings and like always, Tecno is always generous with the accessories. The phone comes with a translucent rigid phone case, 33 watt charger, USB cable, earphones, semi ejector tool and with a screen protector already applied to the display. I have the pre dawn version of the Camon 20 Pro but it also comes in Serenity Blue. This phone that won the Muse Design Awards uses the Camon Puzzle Deconstructionist design. The polygons on the back cover shine and absorb light differently, making the back cover stand out. It looks like a cut diamond to be honest. I like this new style that is not just a single uniform color. The back cover texture is smooth and does a very good job of hiding fingerprint smudges. The camera bump looks like the previous generation's Camon 19 but it has this new quad ring flash design. It seems like the ring LED is in fashion this season. The translucent phone case grips the phone very well. It does not hide the polygon design and it does a very nice job of highlighting the camera bump. It's slightly thicker than the protruding camera bump so it will prevent scratches and dirt on the lens when placed down. With the phone case, the phone weighs 215 grams and 188 grams without it, so the phone case is chunky. The power and volume buttons are located on the right and at the bottom it has the headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port and the speaker outlet. The other speaker outlet is located on the top edge. The stereo dual speakers are loud and have nice sounding mids and highs. For some bass, you are better off using the headset provided. The SIM tray which can hold two nano SIM cards and an SD card is located on the left. At the front is the 6.67 inch or 169.4 mm Full HD Plus AMOLED display with an in-screen fingerprint scanner. It's very fast. The phone can be easily held with one hand and is perfect for consuming video content from YouTube, Netflix and others. It can display animations smoothly with zero lag thanks to the 120Hz refresh rate. Fast paced gaming is also made much easier with this high refresh rate. To prolong battery life it's recommended to use the auto switch refresh rate because not all apps can utilize 120Hz capabilities. Being an AMOLED display means that the always on display feature is available. On this phone there are many settings to use but I love this black hole design. Although I would prefer the always on feature to be always on as opposed to picking up the phone or tapping on the screen to activate it. When it comes to performance, the Camon 20 Pro is powered by the MediaTek Helio G99 Octa-Core processor with a Mali G57 MC2 GPU. The official RAM is 8GB which can be extended up to 16GB with RAM expansion. This of course will use a portion of the very generous 256GB of internal storage. Multitasking on the Camon 20 Pro is a breeze since it can hold multiple apps in the background for faster switching between apps. What about the operating system? The Camon 20 uses iOS version 13.0 which is based on Android 13. With the recent software update, it now has the April 2023 security patch. The Helio G99 supports 4G network so if you want to use and experience 5G then the Tecno Camon 20 Pro 5G is the phone for you. It's exactly like the Camon 20 Pro but it uses the 5G capable Dimensity 8050 processor. Plus they also throw in a 2 megapixel macro camera. Speaking of cameras, let's now take a look at the camera performance on the Camon 20 Pro. It has a triple rear camera set up at the back. The main lens is a 64 megapixel RGBW lens followed by a 2 megapixel depth and an AI cam. I had already mentioned the quad ring flash. At the front is a 32 megapixel dot in display lens with dual LED flash. The rear camera produces very colorful photos even without selecting the 64 megapixel option. There is a bit of color saturation but overall the photos are nice. With the 64 megapixel option selected, the photo sizes are big and very detailed. You can zoom in and get very good details. If you're going to further edit your photos on a computer, then I recommend you select the 64 megapixel option. The front camera also takes very nice selfies, but what it excels at best is taking portrait selfies. Here is a normal selfie and a portrait selfie. I prefer the portrait. In video recording, the maximum quality is 1440p or 2K at 30fps on both the front and rear cameras. The other qualities are 1080 at both 30 and 60 fps but only the rear camera can record at 60 frames per second. The video quality is also nice and this is a phone that you can use for content creation. Even without color correction, the footage is pretty nice. 
With ultra steady on, the maximum quality is capped at 1080p at 30fps and the results are amazing. Like I said before, this is a phone you can rely on as a content creating tool. The stabilization is not only limited to the rear camera. Here is the front camera sample with the stabilization on and off. In low light conditions, it is better to use the super night feature. For example, here is a normal photo and one taken using super night. There is a very big difference. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that this phone can take photos of details that the naked eye cannot see in low light conditions. The dual video feature enables one to shoot videos using both the front and the rear cameras at the same time. There are different modes to choose from and this is the perfect feature for vlogging. The 5000mAh battery is sufficiently big and could last me up to two days with some social media scrolling, occasional gaming and watching movies. What about charging? How long does the 33W flash charger take to fill the battery? Well, from a flat battery, I got 37% in 20 minutes, 52% in half an hour, and full battery capacity in over an hour, which was unexpected to be honest. I'm talking about full battery capacity in over an hour. I expected full battery capacity in an hour. I have the full battery charging experiment in the video description as well as in the end cards. But the bottom line is that you can get good video creating battery juice in just a few minutes. In conclusion, the Tecno Camon 20 Pro is a powerful smartphone with very impressive camera qualities. The beautiful polygon design stands out in the crowd and the battery capacity is just right. They didn't skip out on accessories, plus it has a very important headphone jack. That was my review of the Tecno Camon 20 Pro. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, let's meet in the next video and goodbye.